Okay, Universal show Saturday morning. Look, she's laughing again. You know? <laughs> this is what happened. This last. happened last time. <laughs> I just you know, keeps laughing every time I look at him. Why? Why do you keep? <laughs> I don't. I'm not doing anything. The last time she was, we, the interview didn't even start for about two minutes. <laughs> just laughing. We're, look, we're gonna okay, serious face, serious okay. face, right? Just don't look at me when you're saying it. Sa- <laughs> Saturday morning, Universal show. I tell you, are always an element of surprise, and we have the lovely Melissa Steele in the building. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are You're you? You're good. Good. Crazy, man. I mean, it's been a while since I've seen you. Yeah, it's been like a year. Yeah, a year. And um, first time to Buzz Radio. Mm-hmm. Last time you came to the other station. I yeah, you did like it. my first ever set of interviews. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, crazy. you was about to embark on the big single last year. Yeah. And I mean, last year had a crazy success. Yeah. Um, how was it? How was it? Last year was crazy. Obviously, like my life changed very drastically. Mm. Um, Kisses for Breakfast did amazing. And then, you know, I did the single with Crochet and I Loved You with Blonde came out. And yeah, it's been a really good year. Yeah, so what, year. How, how did it change? Like, what, what kind of things were you doing? Was it the touring, the PAs, more experience? What would you Yeah, I mean, I was starting to do more shows, obviously the promo side of things, um, traveling a lot. Um, and just kind of the hectic hecticness that comes with what I do and kind of just realising that I do what I love for a living and it's just cool. Was, <laughs> it's it, all, was it all that you've imagined it to be like or is it is it less work or, it, or you didn't really know from when you got um, into it how it was going to be? I think you always kind of know what to expect but mm. you never know the full extent of it unless you're actually doing it. All the planning that comes with it. Um, that's one thing that I didn't realise. Um, obviously, I'm 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 used to it now. I'm starting to know how it goes. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's a lot of hard work. Is it a lot of late nights, early mornings? Are, are you doing yeah, all the, the getting sure. up in the mornings and the meetings and um, rehearsals and all that? I f- yeah, I'm I'm cool with it. I yeah. enjoy what I do. It's not like I yeah. wake up and I'm like, I don't want to go. Mm. I'm cool. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you had great success last year with Kisses for Breakfast. Undoubtedly one of the biggest tunes of 2014. Oh, um, do you feel sometimes like you know because sometimes you can make a single and you the pressure might be on for the mm. next single that you put out yeah. is, this, is this the f- the second official yeah this single? is the second official single do yeah. you feel like you have a lot of expectations for yourself with this single because um, the other one was so big yeah mm. naturally I do feel like that because you know it's not I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing mm. but um, yeah I mean because Kisses for Breakfast did so well and no one kind of expected that and then obviously the single that I did with Blonde went even higher. So now I feel like, yeah, people are kind of expecting top 10 at least. So yeah. it's like, it is pressure. But at the same time, I do want to see how well it can do. Mm. So it's kind of out of your control once it's out anyway. So so how do you fit in the time with like, because obviously you've got that project, what you're doing yourself. Mm-hmm. And then you're doing like the outside projects with like the house producers and all that. Mm-hmm. Have you been approached by other house producers to get involved with other house projects? Um, or you just solely been just been travelling with the Bond project? Yeah, I mean, the Blonde project, the Blonde, blonde song... Blonde, sorry, not Bond, Blonde. Yeah, the <clears throat> Blonde songs kind of only just stopped really circulating on the radio. Right. Um, you know, that was not really a pre-calculated thing like the call thing wasn't either i've never really thought i want to be a house singer but i do like house music okay okay um i'm kind of trying to just stay in my own lane right now and just do my own thing i'm not i'm trying to kind of stay stay away from the those kind of features for a little bit i just want to focus on my project right now right okay yeah now sometimes i see your twitter because you know we're on the same twitter right (laughs) and you get i've seen it all pav I've seen her, t- her timeline. All right, tell me. So tell me if I'm wrong. I want to marry you. You must get enough proposals because you get proposals every week, <laughs> every day. I want to marry you. I love you. I can't live without you. Oh, my god. You're gosh. the epitome of a woman. I've never I've, seen I've, that in my life. Well, m- maybe I'm using a bigger word, but I've seen things equivalent to that. I've seen everything on your timeline. It's so funny. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's How do you feel about timing. the love, though? No, I like it. I like receiving positivity. I mean, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> it's 
it's nice to get some, have some laughs now and again. Yeah. Well, do you have a name for your um, followers? Yeah, my Steelers. Your Steelers. I do know it's an American football team now, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> and you're often compared to the late, great Aaliyah. How do you feel about that comparison? Because, like, you know, many people have, have said it in conversation. I think really? if if there was a, a, you know, a bio or a film, yeah. Melissa Steele would be the perfect one to play oh. that um, role. How do you feel about that? That Well, she's my inspiration. Hmm. So that's amazing. I don't mind that comparison. Yeah. I love Aaliyah. I love everything about Aaliyah. And I have heard that quite a lot, actually. But I don't, I don't mind. It's not something that exactly offends me, so... But it's a great comparison. Yeah, it? of course it is. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. feel like you have a lot to live up to when people put you in that kind of bracket? Do you feel um, some kind of pressure? No, not really, because I just I just don't put myself under pressure. Mm. I believe I'm Melissa Steele. I'm doing my thing. I might have some similarities, but I'm not trying to be anyone but myself. So I'm not really under pressure about anything. I'm just doing what I love. Okay, okay. And hopefully everyone likes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they're loving it. They're loving it. You see, you, you're enjoying what's happening so far. Yeah. You're enjoying the vibe. And yeah, I'm loving it. Some of the favourite places that you've been to anyway that you've been like that you haven't travelled to before to um, perform? To perform. Mm. Well, everything, every performance that I've done so far has been in the UK. Right. I did just come back from LA though from shooting the video for okay. the new single. I, that was my first time there. Oh, that wow. That was amazing. Tell us about that experience. Um, well... <laughs> You know, I wasn't there for long enough to kind of have a proper opinion on LA, but I really like what I, I saw that it was hot. I mean, that's sick. Yeah. And um, we shot at a place called the Pink Motel. It's just a completely pink building. Mm. <laughs> Wretch flew out of us. That was fun. And yeah, it's a cool video. Um, I'm just getting the final, like we're just finalising everything now and it should be out soon. I think I saw some little clips of him being on the roof or something. Yeah, like there's like a yeah, few yeah, yeah. pictures on my Instagram. Okay, okay. From the shoot. All right, but, yeah. wicked, wicked. So uh, come on, tell us about this project. How did you even, you know, hook up with Rich in the first place? The producer behind the single, you know, what was the vibe of the single? Yeah. How did you get it made? Well, um, Rodney Jerkins produced mm -hmm. the single. He's a legend. A I grew up listening producer. to the songs that he's produced, so that's amazing in itself. Um, a writer called Sam Romans did the track. Um, I've written with him before. I've worked with him a couple of times in the studio um, and they kind of just approached me about the song and I recorded it and I loved it and it everyone on my team loved it and we're kind of just stuck with it and with Wretch you know he's a really talented rapper and I know him personally and I, I kind of wanted a cool like UK feature on it mm. and yeah I asked him to do it because I knew he'd sound sick on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about the whole UK movement at the moment? Like, um, if you if you was to like, because I don't I don't know if I've asked you this before. Mm -hmm. If you was to put yourself in a in a category, say then, <laughs> how would people define Melissa Steele? What would they say then? She she uh, a an R and B stroke pop artist or mm. stroke reggae artist? How how would you define your? Or are you just straight pop? Or what what is it? Um. First of all, I just make good music, but I think, I yeah, I think, that, I I think that's just it. That, you know, I don't feeling. really put, I know like a lot of people think because they haven't heard like that much from me yet to realise that I do everything. Hmm. A lot of people either like she's a house singer if they just know the blonde song or they think she's a dancehall artist. But I grew up around r and I grew up around reggae. I'm British. I'm, I'm from up north. I grew up around bassline. I grew up around grime. I grew up around a lot of different things. So I'm not just one type of artist. I'm in multiple lanes. So I can't... I'd have to describe my sound in multiple ways. I don't know. Well, I'm a like that one in a multiple lanes. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard the answer like that before. I'm in multiple lanes. <laughs> just go move in and out quick. <laughs> If you're just logging on this morning, we've got Melissa still up in the building. I'm telling you, here on Buzz Radio, such a pleasure to have her here this morning. <laughs> so um, um, we're kind of like kind of winding down from the whole festival season. Yeah. Did you have a chance to like be at any of the festivals over the summer? Yeah, um, I did wireless. Okay, how did that go? That went really well. Yeah. Yeah, like I had my dancers on stage. I had my like DJ slash hype guy. Um, in one of the numbers, where <laughs> my dancers came out with like, spray painted pink water guns and was just like shooting everyone like it was really fun yeah. i had like a little dance hall breakdown as well in the performance um i did um spring fest um i'm also doing ib for rocks this year i'm doing a couple of shows with blonde i've already done one with them as well um 
I did um, Ariana Grande's UK tour with Christian, okay. which was cool. Okay. Yeah, and what was that like? That's a mad yeah, experience, isn't it? That was like the first time I'd done an arena because mm. we did the old arena. We did Glasgow, Birmingham. So that was cool. I did my own set at Wembley Arena not long ago. Um, and I'm doing the carnival, obviously, this year. Oi, oi. <laughs> um, <laughs> and a festival called Sundown. So it's a pretty packed summer, but pretty a fun one. Summer, yeah. yeah. What, do you, what do you love about performing? I like club buzz. And, you know, when when I'm performing to a lively crowd as well. Yeah. Um, and when they're not, because now it's to the point where people just sing the entire song back to me. Like when I sing Kisses for Breakfast or um, I Loved You. So that. Yeah, I really like that. <laughs> that that tune is like a massive anthem, you know. Yeah. No, it's, even like even to mad. this day, like, do you know? I mean, mm, I'm trying to think how many people in the last twelve months have got a single that can still be played in the clubs <laughs> that ring off the same way as of when it just came out. Do you know what I mean? Aww. It has the same impact all the time. I'm telling you, wow, that's a lot. It's a lot to live up to. I know, right? I swear, yeah, yeah, and they're loving it on this station as well. In fact, when I was telling the owner, I was going, "Yo, I'm going to be getting Melissa stealing, you know, this is what." What? Oh my really? gosh, that's so I love her tune, Aww. man. I love her tune. So no, listen, so what's support. um what's forthcoming for you? Um you got the festivals coming up, which is a good look. Yeah. Um single you're promoting now with Wretch. Yeah. Any same. other outside pursuits that you're involved in apart from music? Um, well, right now obviously I'm doing this project. Mm. Um the single's coming out on the eleventh of September. Yeah. Um Obviously, the shows I've just told you about, Carnival and all yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah. Um, and I'm finishing the album as well. Okay. They're the main things. I'm I'm very focused on the music right now. Ideas. I mean, you've gone for Rodney Jerk. Because I think we had this conversation last time. Because you didn't want to tell me about the Beanie Man situation <laughs> with Crochet. Do you remember? Yeah. I was guessing all these names. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, whoever you say, I'm saying no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know, and I think I called a few big names, but I didn't call Beanie Man. I wasn't thinking of Beanie Man. Yeah. So, um... You know, anybody else? That oh might God, be? we go again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that now. You know about Rich. You know about Rodney. That's all for now. And I mean, you know, you went for Rodney. I mean, there's no doubt then that we're gonna hear Pharrell on the album. I mean, how did you get that combination? How did you even hook up with Pharrell? <laughs> with Pharrell. <laughs> Come on, I like the fact that you're speaking this to, into existence. But <laughs> unfortunately, guys, I haven't worked with Pharrell. <laughs> Hopefully one day. <laughs> well, you never know. You never know, man. Yeah. You never know. I'll tell you what. Melissa Steele right here <laughs> on Buzz Radio. So what else is going on in your life? I mean, just off air, right? We was having a little chat. Right. And I thought I'd bring this up to you. Because, okay, well, let's hear it. You know what I mean? Because you, you, you seem to be a bit surprised that you have male fans. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Yeah? Why, why are you surprised that you have male fans as opposed to loads um, of female fans? No, I'm not saying I, I don't have male fans. It's mm. just the fact that, like, I have a very strong female fan base and they're the people that always approach me. So they're the people that I speak to. Mm. So I don't really see a lot of what males are saying. I don't know. So how is it now with the guys now, now that you're in you're the business now? Because I know last year, <laughs> I know last year, you were probably a bit more low key and you was you rise into success. Now that you're off more of a familiar face, is it a thing that guys still will have still approach you? Um, do you still get the approach or they're a bit standoffish? How does it work now? Um Yeah, people definitely approach. Oh, they definitely do? Yeah. Oh wow. More on it's more online though. I don't know about in in public. Maybe I'm intimidating, I don't know. I don't think I look intimidating. You reckon Pav? No, nah, I don't. I don't look intimidating, do no, I? No, no, no. You, no, you don't look scary at all. <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, it's just less. It's just online. I suppose. But then they're... again, like I'm not out that much to know. Right. I'm always like, yeah, on my grind, hiding behind their screens. Yeah, so I don't really know. I'll yeah. tell you next time I go out. Okay, okay. Do you know what? I like talking to her this morning. You know, mm. she just chilled. <laughs> nice vibe, very focused. Do you know what I mean? It's such a pleasure for you to have you here this morning. So um, we're going to get into your single. Yay. Um, before we do that, can you give out some social network where people can correspond with you? Yeah, um, you can find me on Twitter, which is at Melissa Steele. Instagram, Melissa Steele. Snapchat, Melissa Steele 1. YouTube, Melissa Steele. Everything's Melissa Steele. 
And do you retweet and all that to people? You yeah, know, of course. You're I, quite interactive I, I always with your... reply. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's cool. And could you introduce your single this morning, please? Yep, I'm Melissa Steele, and this is my brand new single, You Love Me, featuring Wretch 32. Boom.